Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikar. I'm the founder and managing director of Amrita Homeopathy. We are placed in two locations. One is in Korumangla and the other is in Marathali in Bangalore. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics, infertility and gallstones. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease where your own immune system is attacking your own joint tissues. Actually, immune system should be able to identify this is bacteria, this is virus, this is your own body, this is joint, this is part of your body. It shouldn't attack it, it should protect it. But somewhere your immune system memory has gone wrong. It's wrongly thinking that something else is a bacteria. It's thinking maybe your joint is a bacteria, is a foreign body. And it's attacking your own joint. This kind of a change in your memory can be triggered by various factors. It can be triggered by your lifestyle, it can be triggered by your stress levels, it can be triggered by your diet, multiple things like this. The most common reason which we have seen that people encounter autoimmune diseases is because of high stress levels. And many patients, anger has got an impact on your joints getting affected. When you are very angry with somebody and you haven't been able to take it out or you have taken it out but it has created a deep impact on your body. From a more spiritual understanding, we understand that we are all in a way connected with each other. The world is interconnected. What I do has its repercussion on the rest of the world. And as a cell, the cell has an understanding that every other cell or every other thing in the universe is running with a common energy. And somehow there is a feeling that we all as human beings are interconnected with each other. This is how the biological functions in this world is supposed to be working. So maybe that's the reason when you get angry with somebody, when you have anger and you have some revengeful thoughts in your mind against somebody, your body is getting confused somewhere. It starts to think whether that person doesn't belong to me, that person is a foreign body, then maybe my own tissue is also a foreign body. You're understanding how the mind is creating an impact by hating something which is outside and then reflecting upon itself a hate on its own body tissues scientifically you cannot say that okay what i'm talking makes too much of sense but if you look at it logically there is some amount of sense in what i'm speaking right now to those who understand this that what you give to the world it comes back to you in one form or the other so when you give hatred and revenge and anger to the rest of the world you get back that the body mimics that action one cell starts attacking your own body thinking that's a foreign body but actually it's its own and the person whom you're angry is not somebody else it's your own this concept of understanding that we are all interconnected with each other is what we need to understand in a deeper level of understanding probably that will heal a lot of issues in a lot of cases of rheumatoid arthritis i've seen that through certain techniques where they are able to remove the subconscious effect of the trauma that they have undergone they are able to come out of these joint pains. There are techniques like NLP which have helped some of the patients, neuro-linguistic programming, which have helped patients to come out of painful disease. It is so painful, it passes through different stages. There are four stages they say. In the initial, there is a formation of antibodies against your own body. Then there is a stage of inflammation, there is a stage of symptoms appearing and then you start feeling swelling in your small joints, shifting from one joint to the other and it is bilaterally symmetrical, there's a lot of weakness. Slowly over a period of time, deformities start coming in the last stage, where the joints become crippled, different types of deformities. But if you see, there are some people who have had this rheumatoid arthritis, RA is positive since the age of maybe 20 years, 22 years. They are now in their 60s or 70s. So many years they have rheumatoid arthritis. By now they should have become crippled. But I have seen patients who have not developed any deformities despite having rheumatoid arthritis for so many years. Why is that? Usually a patient can develop deformities within a few years of developing rheumatoid arthritis. That's usually one of the complications of rheumatoid arthritis. But some people are able to overcome this by more positive thinking, by changing their lifestyle, by following certain diet, anti-inflammatory, more antioxidant kind of diet. So practicing techniques like yoga, meditation, pranayama is helping a lot of patients. Now homeopathy also has to play a role 
in rheumatoid arthritis. We see that usually in our medical science, we say that rheumatoid arthritis, once it is positive, it doesn't become negative. But even my allopathic friends know that there are cases which were positive and over a period of time, it has become negative too. Now, how is that happening? Though you may say that, okay, previously it was a false positive, that's why it is showing negative now, or this negative may not be a correct report and maybe when we check again, it is positive. So there are cases like that where positive has become negative even without any homeopathic medicines maybe with lifestyle changes with dietary correction in techniques like yoga and meditation and things yes it has happened how we acknowledge that is different but that has happened now if you see even i have cases where we have used homeopathic medicines like rustox bryonia arnica natremure lycopodium thuja sepia and these cases some of the cases have become negative swelling has gone even there are cases I have seen where structural deformities have modified. Though it is extremely rare, structural deformity is getting corrected. But I have had cases like that too. That is the correction that we need to bring along. Correction in your lifestyle. Many cases where the joint pains appear, it is seen that they sleep very late. They sleep beyond 10. Anybody who sleeps beyond 10 is making themselves prone for joint pains and not having food on time. This is the second reason why you may develop this kind of joint problems. Now, rheumatoid arthritis is not just a joint problem, but it is your own immune system doing damage. And that has got also the mind got its connection there. So correction of the way you think, the correction of the way you look upon stress is also important when you see that how you deal with a case with rheumatoid arthritis. So lifestyle changes, stress level correction, correction with the right kind of medicine, adding techniques like pranayama, yoga, meditation into your lifestyle. All this is important if we need to come out of these kind of problems.